Scattered across Australia are many old halls bearing the inscription Mechanics Institute or Schools of Art. By the early 20th century, around 140 such institutes were established in Sydney alone. The Industrial Revolution was changing the nature of work and there were new skills required by manual workers. These workers were known as mechanics or artisans at the time. So a strong movement developed to offer the working class somewhere where they could learn new skills and improve their potential in life. The movement started in England and the idea was brought to Australia in the 1850s. Many employers from the upper class were not so impressed as they preferred paying minimal wages to unskilled workers. A popular development was the reading room where people could improve their literacy skills and catch up with the latest news and affairs of the day. Though initially frequented by men, women also used the facilities and the bigger reading rooms added more comprehensive texts for study purposes. Specialised facilities were added to many schools of arts. Here is an etching of a laboratory. No doubt you could try mixing some home remedies. This is a workshop and demonstration hall. For Tenterfield, it was the desire to establish a reading room that was the first iteration of what was to become a School of Arts. Within a few short years, it had grown to become a public hall able to hold 300 people. It also contained two reading rooms and many books for circulation. Tenterfield was always hungry for knowledge and news. The School of Arts hosted public meetings and was a strong centre for the cultural development of the town with music and drama and social events. Small towns often had a small School of Arts centre, while larger centres had much more grand structures, such as the Brisbane School of Arts. This building is still used today as a community resource. Gradually, the educational functions of Schools of Arts were absorbed by larger government structures. Frequently the buildings became a financial burden on local committees and the local councils would often take them over as public halls or perhaps develop them into a town library or a social community centre. If they served no other purpose, they were often demolished. We are fortunate in Tenterfield that our passionate community saved the Sir Henry Parks Memorial School of Arts from destruction over 60 years ago and it continues to be part of the heritage and lifeblood of the town.